Hey folks, how y'all doing? We're doing an update on, uh, we're finishing, uh, doing finished carpenter work in my little girl's playhouse. And after that, we gotta paint it. So, here we go. I've got my little setup here. It's 105 to eat. It's 12.36 now. It's 105 degree heat index out here. I got my Stanley blower uh, fan going there, squirrel cage fan. And I got boom full blast. Yeah, she is smoking. And I got my Dewalt table set up. I need to lean to where I can listen to the radio and all that good jazz. And uh, then we got my table set up. We'll get my cut my um make all my cuts, all my 45s and different angles and all that good junk. But let's take you for a look. It's smoking out here today, but yeah, it's good day for solar. That's a hot one. 105 today. I should get the. Uh, it's a hot one, y'all. It's July the 14th. Then here, voila, we're getting some headway, y'all. Really, I'm turning some lights on. But I got the air conditioner set around 70 degrees. And, uh, but I need to turn that a little lower. It's, it's even warm in here, but. Here, y'all, we got the cabinet built. It's a bookshelf. It goes all the way down. And we're gonna put a, a vinyl floor down. Just something easy we can sweep out and probably put an area rug and all that kind of stuff. We put Wayne's coating, or Wayne's cotton um, coating up. That's what we call it, I used to call it. And it's all the way around. So, a little girl's playhouse slash off-grid playhouse is coming along and uh, yeah, it's really taking shape but this really came in handy remember the electrical box there and all that's still there I'll just take this screw up right here and that screw up down there and I pull this little bolt and I can get to the uh, I can get to the uh, panel that way it's protected from her power goes out Whatever, I'm gonna be in an off-grid um, situation. I'm rolling, you know, rolling the solar. Um, that way, the air conditioning, everything will run the whole nine yards. But I just didn't want to take any chances of her getting into it, so I covered it up. But I can, I, I have access to it. So, got all the sheetrock and all the mud and everything done. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get, put, get floor coverings. We're gonna put like an indoor outdoor carpet up here with a padding. So she can be comfortable up there, put a bean bag up there, all that kind of stuff. We've got our trim work done, most of it. We've got our door stoop, I mean window stoop right there. Got that all laid in, got in there yesterday. Trimmed all the way around the windows. But it's coming along real good. Um, you got the air conditioning partially framed in. You got to frame the rest of it in. So yeah, it's coming along really good. I just want to give y'all some updates on what's going on and how it's doing. So all right, well we'll be back shortly with some more updates. Let's see what we get what else we get done today. And oh yeah. We made some cutouts here uh, for the door. Wait, this is the way this is designed. It locks. You can see right here. It's got the you know the handle it came with from the company, and that's we'll go with it. So it closes and shuts, and there's everything it's supposed to do. And we got my little porter cable, pancake air compression here in here. That does a super good job. Cut this air conditioner on. A little lower. Put it in all. We're gonna put her in the, we got an eco mode now. But we'll turn that puppy down to 60. Oh yeah. You're hanging meat up in here now, y'all. 
Alright. Well, we will be back for some more updates in a little bit. Let me go charge this battery up. About dead. It's okay, folks. We'll, we'll, I keep on. We'll make. I'll make some more videos by the end of the day, and I'll post some this evening until we get to paint. All right, folks. Yeah, she's a hot one. All right, we'll be back after a while. Hey, howdy, y'all. We're uh, doing an update on the uh, off-grid slash grid type uh, tiny house slash playhouse. And I am going to show you what we did. We got um, my back here, my electrical panel back here. And I'll, I'll show you what we did to it. It's, it's a bookshelf combination. Uh, and also it covers the panel up and, and the uh, transfer switch. But it's a great thing, y'all. But also, uh, we'll get back to that. We got all our trim work done. I'm, I'm gonna hang that about the way all around the air conditioner. Uh, all the trim around the doors, the casing, the chair rail, all the wings coatings done. The windows and the little windowsill all that and it's just coming along and along everything's gonna get all the trims will get painted white so it's coming right along so next step is finish off the lock we uh, cut us out some um, some some base And we got that side, and we got to go ahead and trim up the little window and put a piece of base down there along the top, and some other finish things. We got to paint. So it's coming along pretty good. Got a couple more hours to finish work in here. Then we got to sand these uh, two, uh, two by two and a half, two and a half by twos down. And uh, make them presentable. That's where we prime them up and paint them. And over here will probably be a TV to kind of help cover that switch up, um, up in that little area on wall mount. So yeah, that's what we're shooting for. But I'll show you how cool this little thing is. This is to protect my little girl, in case she has friends over here. So I really don't want anybody to mess with the panel. That's, that's my thing. I got a screw down there and a screw up here to hold it in place. I got and I got a little little uh, standstill bolt or any kind of bolt you want to use. I just pull this thing right out the way. Well, of course I have to get the books and stuff off of it first. And this is trying to just one handed. But I'll just take it like that, pull it up the way, wham, there is the my transfer switch for the solar, and here's my panel box. There we go, all done. So everything's easy to get to. So again, uh, I'll just take it out. And it was a safety, safety issue for me. I didn't want to reach little hands in there and touch those little knobs and think she's on a space station or anything like that, spaceship. You go hit knobs and all good jump. So this just slips up in there like that, and bam. Then I take a couple screw right down here. up here get the Dewalt impact and 
nothing up here. There she is. She is in there. So, that's a good thing to do protect your child from getting up in your electrical boxes. And that's what's my hand hold right there in case you want to get in there. Yep, that's just some updates uh, what we got going on. It's been a hot one. It's about 107 degrees. It's about 107 degrees out here right now. It is smoking hot. And I got the air conditioning set on my 60 right now. That's just open, open the door back and forth for less warm air in here and just nothing like having nice cool in your working conditions. But uh, let me show you a couple other things that uh, on the uh, my tools and all that good stuff. So we'll go we'll head to the big shop. All right. Okay. This Dewalt table saw is the bomb, y'all. I love it. I did a video on here not too long ago. But here's the model numbers on it. It's the Dewalt 749 RS. Uh, RS is for Roland Station. I think that stands for DWE 7491. But a nice, nice piece of equipment. And, uh, I got to raise up, but we built the whole bookshelf with it and ripped lumber for the whole playhouse with it. And just worked day after day. We've been using it for about four days now, and it's flawless. Put that safety switch back down. Safety first. But yeah, this saw is kicking tail. And over here, with the new miter saw stand, I've been carrying that out to my work area. And uh, you know, it just that rolling stand is is a does a great thing. I mean, it just works really well. I got the single uh, bevel compound miter saw, Dewalt, and this is a this is a Dewalt DW one seven five. Yeah, DW seven one five. That's a great great miter saw to have. I know the sliders are butter saw, but hey, it's what, you know, I can't, I can't complain it was a gift from my dad. Since he got my other one. So, <laughs> it works, I'm sorry. Well, the other one we had together, that is. But yeah, it's just a nice piece of equipment. And that, that table saw really came in handy. We built the whole bookshelf with it and then it cut a lot of lumber that we needed for everything. But as, small, as far as a small compact, and the reason why I hadn't put it away yet, I was still using it. And I just I just raised that blade up. And I got the knife on it. And my contractor buddy is a cabinet maker. He likes it. He loves it. He loves the rack and pinion. Let me turn let me get some blade down here. Safety. Not in use, and I'll be down. But yeah, it is a good, nice piece of equipment. But uh I can't. I mean, it's a, it was a great investment, really good investment, really good investment, y'all. Can't stress that enough. Does everything I wanted to do, and then some. So, anyway, I wanted to say thank you all for watching my videos, and hey, please subscribe. Any questions, comments, or anything like that, please ask me. This is an update on my. Uh, the off-grid tiny house, grid type, tiny house, playhouse uh, for my daughter. Hey, y'all have a good now. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all take it easy now. All right. Bye-bye.